Guy, guy hit a cash here outside of a temple. Right next to a dog that barks. So much for being stealthy. Well, as you saw, uh, there's a cache here. It's probably, it's not the worst place I've ever seen a cache place, but it's, it's uh, pretty bad, right next to a dog. The dog barked so much, would not stop that a uh, lady came out to see what I was doing. So, yeah, it's not a very good place for a cache. I think a, a micro, this was a small where you could put things in. I think a micro would have been better here away from the dog anyway um, I thought it was gonna warm up I thought the fog was gonna lift uh, neither of those things is happening so what I I've, I found two caches and I'm about ready to freeze to death uh, and I'm about uh, 25 kilometers from home it's a long uh, long ride back so uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to look for a public bath, if there is one around here, and warm up, and then head back home. I, was, I, was, I wanted to go, there's a travel bug hotel here. I wanted to drop off this travel bug I got, but it's, it's really cold. I might try it. If I can figure out how to get to it, I might try it, but I'm just, my finger is about to fall off my hands. I don't take the cold very well, especially my feet and my hands. My feet and hands produce no heat at all, <laughs> so I suffer when it's this cold. It's it's not even broken 40 degrees Fahrenheit yet. So, all right, well, let me get going. Well, here's a handy place to pull in. I can use the bathroom. Get some french fries, which I shouldn't eat, but I like french fries. And maybe some coffee. It looks like they got coffee. Premium roast coffee short. Oh, that'll warm me up. There's the fleet. This would be a miserable day to make deliveries. I guess they have a limited delivery area, so it's probably not that bad. Probably just a few blocks away. This, this apartment complex probably uh, constitutes a lot of business. Great delivery business. It's kind of a, it looks like a big complex there. And then there's another one right there. I came here, um, I, it's warmed up a little bit. So there is a geocache here. This is the Songtang Sunbokum Kyoe. Sunbokum means uh, pure gospel. And Songtang is just the, the place where it is. So this, this place is called Songtang, this area. So the Songtang Pure Gospel Church. And uh, there's a geocache in there, overflow parking lot down there. I'm gonna catch a couple more on my way back home since it's warmed up. And that stop at McDonald's really did help. It, the restaurant was really hot inside, so it warmed me up really nice in the coffee too. So I don't feel so uh, I don't feel so frozen. I'm more in the mood to uh, do some geocaching. I'm not gonna go back down. I'm just gonna keep going back towards home. But there are a few geocaches on this road going that way. So. I'll get them. I hope. Uh, I hadn't realized that uh, this is the second time I've been at this cache. Still can't find it. Even though the logs, people say it's kind of easy to find. I did find some other stuff though. Found these. I feel like a uh, um, one of those uh, 
treasure hunters with the uh, the metal detectors. Except I'm, I don't have a metal detector. All right, here's a lesson for you if you're out geocaching. Don't send a DNF in until you actually leave the area. I sent a DNF in, my second DNF on this one. I sent it in and then I found it. It's really tiny. Uh, lesson learned. I'm gonna look pretty stupid on the logs. Ah, that's life. All right, some of you may remember from a video where I was looking for this cache before, and I thought I had looked everywhere, but I had not. Um, this is a very small one. Underneath here, you can see there's like a lip. What I did, I put my finger under there and I felt it. I felt just the edge of it. When I tried to grab it, it my finger pushed it um, out of reach. So I had to uh, carefully stick my fat fingers in, trying to push it back. Uh, it's not easy. Anyway, I found it. <laughs> Yay! This is something you encounter once in a while. The little baggies that you put the log sheet in, sometimes uh, they rip. And this, even though you could seal it, it didn't seal. You know what I mean? There's a breach there, so. For some reason she stopped on the other side of the car. I thought it might have been her car that I'm using, the, the hood. She just stopped to see what I was doing. Okay, um, so. Uh, I, I keep uh, little, I keep little uh, baggies like this. So I put the log sheet in there, it's a fresh baggie, it seals up. And uh, I'm going to swab out the, the container, the container was damp inside, so I have this for that purpose. And that's another find. Well, um, I found a few geocaches today, uh, but the days are getting shorter and shorter. I like to start out early in the morning, I started out early in the morning, it was freezing cold. It turned out to be a rather nice day in the afternoon. Uh, about, about the middle of the day it got nice. And uh, so I changed from my snowmobile mittens to just regular gloves. Took my scarf off, took my uh, mask off. So uh, it was a nice pleasant ride and that was the most enjoyable part of the day is riding the motorcycle. I like geocaching but I do like riding the motorcycle too when I get a chance. And I had a good ride, and I found a few geocaches, which makes the day even more worthwhile. Um, I was going to take a, I was going to go to a public bath uh, and uh, warm up, but the day warmed up, and I didn't really have to do that. Uh, so I'm going to go home and uh, make a nice mug of tea. All right, everybody, thanks for watching today's adventure. Bye.